Eagles uh, fly. Welcome. Thanks welcome. for coming on. Pleasure for having me. Jalen, so sorry for your loss last night. Uh, Business had to be taken care of, and it was. Well, roll tide, roll tide. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm here supporting South Carolina and Coach Staley today. So, <laughs> uh, Good little segue. You're trained. Absolutely, You're absolutely. Trained. Um, but it, it's just amazing to me to see um, just how the sport is changing, the, the attention, the recognition you guys are getting, um, and that's kind of. That's kind of, I feel like, what the focal point needs to be um, with everything. And you right. see amazing talent. It's all getting recognized. And they're putting on a show, too, um, putting on a true show. Yeah. Um, so right before you came on, we were talking about what's been heavily debated, mostly around Caitlin. But, you know, Dee brought up Charles Barkley. There's a lot of players. Yeah. Do you have to win a championship to be considered a GOAT, greatest of all time? Um, I think that is what makes the difference between the word best and, and great, you right. know. Um, I like and that. I think you know, to to achieve every, everybody everybody dreams of winning championships. You know, that's, that's what we that's what we coming from Alabama, experiencing that, and just the level of, of having an opportunity to do that year in and year out, um, and and now you know, having an opportunity to do that in the NFL. I mean, that's what everybody strives for. So, I think for um, even Coach Staley, she says it. You know, she she got to the dance all the time, but never could finish it, and that's something that that's why she's coaching. Right. Um, so I think I think it is something to win in championships. I think um, your talent kind of dictates how many you need to win. Um, but championships is all about winning. You know, that's always the main thing, and that's that's why everybody competes and works for. Absolutely. Well, you got to the big dance. You got to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I was there in Phoenix. Yeah. I'm sure you don't want to remember it, but we were talking about it. Those are the moments that set you up for the future, too. Like when you're so close, and we've all been there. Right. When you're so close, how's that propelled your career? Two years later, like how yeah. did that put you in a different mindset? I think it's I think it's uh, matured me. I think it's changed my perspective on a lot of things because I don't think people realize how um, kind of how, how much of a fire that lights in you. You know, I think it just um, it prepares you for the, it, that's, that's the standard. You right. know, the standard. You never want to compromise the standard in anything that you're doing. And so once you get the taste of it, it's like man, that's what I want. Um, and I got to do everything I got to do to get it. Um, but there's a process to it too, and, and I know you guys have done a lot of winning. Um, but there's a process to it. Yeah. You got you to embrace the process that comes with it. Yeah. All right, we got the socials connected to us. Oh, we got a tweet. <laughs> see what they got for us. Jalen, are you big on the socials? Not too big. Not too big. <laughs> oh, good question. We're, I'm Jalen. Oh, you don't Lord. mind taking this Ooh, one. I like this. Is Best there, trash talkers that y'all have played. Um, is there a lot of trash talking in football? I feel like there's more because you have the helmets. You can say whatever you want. I, I feel yeah. like. Um, <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't say too much unless you say something to me. But even, but even, um, even if you do say something, I'm probably, you know, they're probably like, why, why this guy ain't doing too, much? why he ain't saying nothing to me? You know That's what I mean? I'm but um, I remember it was one, it was a guy uh, Dunlap in the Super Bowl, and he just kind of bumping me as I'm walking to the sideline. I'm just kind of like looking at him, and I just look. He's like unbothered kind of by it, but it's it's all fun. It, everybody has a different competitive uh, nature with it, yeah. and you know it's cool. What, what about you? Well, I mean, I think when it comes to trash talking, you know, there's like the I'm gonna just talk a lot of trash in your face with nothing. My, I feel like when it comes with emotion, that's like talking trash. When you actually did something I to like say that. something, I like that. It's different than like yo, Jalen saw your mom last night. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Like, Not I mom, huh? Yeah, like, <laughs> I mean, like, Dee, you, you, you've gone to so many people's heads. So it's like a part of your ego. Right That's how she get it, huh? Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, I, yeah. One yeah. time we stepped on the floor. We're obviously best friends. We stepped on the floor. She's like, oh, your shoes are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's the first game of the season. You My gotta, best, you. The best tactic that Dee does, though, is like when it's like a rookie or a young player, and she'd be like, oh, welcome to the league. Like She acts real sweet to him. Then the next play, she's like, boom. It's genuine, that, though. I'm really happy to know what they that, 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 That's like, kind of Kobe-esque. Yeah. <laughs> You're looking at it. You're looking at we it. love yeah. it, though. Uh, but, I mean, like, realistically, you know, you're here supporting Coach Staley. You know, what, can you tell us more about that relationship yeah. and the connection to Philly? We yeah. really love to see that. Um, Philly is strong. Yeah. yeah, it is strong. It's a special place, a place um, I would rather be in another place. But Coach Staley, just uh, actually being coached by her, her cousin, uh, Deuce, so it kind of got connected that way. Then she was doing her thing here. Um, I've done community work at the Hangouts, a community center down there where she grew up in uh, Philly. So 
Um, it, it's definitely deep ties there, but I, I just love, I love great coaching. Mm -hmm. I love and respect how she goes about it, uh, the leader she is, the competitor she is, uh, how she's able to relate. And, um, you know, she's just special. She's special. And I know um, Coach Gino, I wanted to talk about that and his greatness and everything he's been able to accomplish because I, I, that's just something that you have to appreciate. And just to see the, the sustain, sustainability right. and um, everything they've been able to do at their program is, is great. We already thanked him, but he wanted to stick around. Right. I think he, it's because of this question, huh, Jalen? <laughs> <laughs> this question? All right, let's give it in full. Camila Cardoza at tight end. Malaysia Full Wiley at running back. We could put her at right receiver also. Or Kaitlyn Clark at QB. Who See, are you taking? You put her at, you put her at the F. You know, the zebra in some systems, you know, she she going to get loose for a while. I like her. She she has a lot of juice. Okay. Like she, she, she got some wiggle. She got, yeah, she, she got game. I mean, the Eagles were my, were my team on Madden in college. <laughs> really? Donovan McNabb. Oh, you don't play no more? Yeah, James Thrash. I don't play anymore. I got kids. You can't do I dig anything. it. I dig <laughs> it. You know, Jalen. Oh, that's amazing. Well, as women's basketball starts to grow, like Jalen, listen, NFL, you have eyes on you. Mm -hmm. Everything is critiqued from what you wear to how you play. Women's basketball is starting to grow. What advice would you give these young players that are now going to be experienced? I mean, they already are, to be yeah. honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you see it. You see it from a distance. I've definitely seen it from a distance. And I just think it's, it's important to keep the main thing the main thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you, right. you have to control what you can. Um, and, you know, the number one thing that I've always tried to do as a competitor, and I know you guys can relate, is just quantify your work. Just work. You know, everybody's going to have an opinion, but those things don't mean anything. Just, just do you. It's good advice. It's good advice. Well, oh, we'll see. My prediction's not looking good right now. I had Iowa with a blowout, but oh, blowout. Really? they started yeah. off on it. They started off hot. They what did. was it, 12-0 run to start the game? It was 12-0 run. I know, but South Carolina, they've done this all year. These close games, they just thrive in them. I think, too, like, when these, game, when these teams are, like, so high level, like, we all know it. It's like, who can sustain all 40 minutes? Yeah. You know, like, it's really about, like, who can sustain all 40 right. minutes. It's just a game of changes, and we're seeing that. And you just have to be able to every quarter, every five minutes, every possession, like every single one matters, and it adds up at the end. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel like all sports, basketball, football especially, it's the ability to make a mistake, right, and then mm -hmm. find a way to come back. I've yeah. always been curious about this with quarterbacks. Oh, yeah. What's it feel like when you've just thrown an interception, you're, you're barely off the field for five seconds, you got to go right back on, on offense. Right. Like, what are yeah. you thinking of yourself in that moment? It, it's, a, it's a, I think it's a mentality. It's a mentality of control what I can, so what, not what. That's, that's what a guy taught me back in college, and I just kind of stuck with that, so what, not what mentality. You can't go back and change it. Listen, you know? Jalen, you haven't been on this show unless I've had to cut you off. <laughs> 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 we have to go to break, but we really appreciate it. That's because my team making a run, that's all. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Finally, someone clapped there back. He is. <laughs> Thank you both for being here. Thank we you really guys. appreciate it. Appreciate it.